Hey, my name is Alexa Graga. I graduated from Kutztown University with a double bachelor's in art education and fine arts. I concentrated in printmaking. I currently am teaching art in the school district of Philadelphia in a K through five school um, by the airport, Southwest Philly. I am very passionate about urban teaching um, and I do do art festivals and teach yoga on the side. So that's just a little bit about me. Um, the article I chose was um, uh, NCAC joins fire with the ACLU urging the University of Canvas to um, re-put up American flag artwork. Uh, the speech action that gave rise to the conflict was the artwork Untitled Flag 2 um, by artist Josephine Max Sepper. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, it is part of a nationwide public art program, Pledges of Allegiance, organized by Creative Time. The series includes 16 artworks that incorporate flags that address a variety of themes and topics by artists around the world. To describe the artwork, um, you know, physically, what I see is, you know, there's, back, there's black paint splattered on an American flag, and there's a black and white striped sock attached to it. Um, as well. Uh, in the, um, in Josephine's artist statement, she writes that it is not intended to be an actual desecration of a flag. Um, I'm going to just read a little bit of the artist's statement. Um, so the artist uses a uh, technique of collage superimposing multiple images. The artist used an image derived from the abstract drip painting from two, uh, 2015 entitled Goodbye Language, which resembles a map of uh, the United States and includes a single striped sock, which was superimposed onto a graphic design of a flag, creating a collage. Goodbye to Language takes its title from Jean-Luc Goddard's 2014 Adieu language, I'm not sure how to say that too, um, a fractured experimental work involving two couples both coming together and growing apart. The word adieu in French speaking area of Switzerland can mean both hello and goodbye, depending on the context of its use. Um, so it's meant to be a metaphorical artwork. Um, it can contribute to necessary discussion about art's role in society, who we are as a nation, and what divides us and brings us together. Um, so the parties involved initially were artist Josephine Max Kepper, um, along with Creative Time, and the Kansas governor, Jeff Collier, <laughs> and Secretary of State, Chris Kobach. Um, the freedom of speech was impacted because Canvas governor um, and the Secretary of State demanded the flag be removed because it was offensive. The result was the flag being removed and the NCAC joined with the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education and the America Civil Liberties Union of Canvas in writing a letter to the University of Canvas um, the letter just basically says they strongly urge the university to take a stand against censorship and restore the public artwork and put it back up. Um, I didn't find an article saying it being put back up. I found a lot of anger and outrage and I read comments from people saying that like the student should be kicked out of America um, for creating an artwork like this. Um, I did not find the artwork shocking, and unfortunately, I am not shocked that it was removed either. If the artist's intent was to threaten America and its citizens, I would understand the alarm. With the artist statement, I see no issues at all. It is a simple act of um, freedom of speech. I personally think it should have not been removed and should have been placed back on display. Um, I appreciate the NCAC, the... Um, Foundation for Individual Rights in Education and the American Civil Liberties Union for standing up for the artists and writing the letter to the university. Uh, I think what makes it difficult is that people get offended without even doing any research. The artist has a very well thought out artwork and artist statement. People get offended by the looks of it without even reading a statement. Unfortunately, I don't even think people would care to read into it. I understand the university struggle with it, but I think they should have discussed the artist's intent instead of removing the artwork. 
Um, that's my opinion. <laughs> uh, I hope I didn't forget anything that I wanted to say. I know I spoke really fast. Um, I think that the artwork is fantastic. Uh, and I wish that, I think that if Kutztown showed a work like that, I don't think they were, I don't think that they would have removed it. Um, so that just also shows how awesome Kutztown University is. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching.